I got a deal. <clears throat> Last quant of the quantity. I've aired this, I aired this about a week and a half ago. Almost everyone went. I got a thousand left. It is our Kitchen HQ grill pan. These are $100 pans if you try to find them online. Our price is what, around $50 for this every day of the week? I'm not even gonna tell you how much we're offering it for you today. It's gonna sell out. I got a thousand to go around, less than that. I have them in teal and red. I bought two in the teal my last airing because I was like, I don't need to, but at this price, I'm gonna get two. Wait till you see the price on that. That's coming up in just a bit. But I wanna talk to you about Blackstone. Blackstone, this company has revolutionized the cooking industry. Uh, you know, the best food, in my opinion, some of the best food in America comes from a diner. What does a diner have? A flat top griddle. They cook everything on it. Bacon, eggs, sausage, pancakes, uh, burgers, smash burgers, steaks, everything, eggs, all cooked on a flat top. You're very limited with a barbecue. I love a barbecue, don't get me wrong, but I'll tell you, Stuff and falling through the grates, they're a pain in the butt to clean. This is like having a hibachi outside. Like when you go to that cr uh, the crazy, wonderful Japanese steakhouse, you can sear steaks. You can cook salmon. You ever try to cook salmon on a, on a regular barbecue grill? Cracks falls through. Veggies on a regular barbecue grill. They go all over the place. When you order it today, you're gonna get the 22 inch, all right? This is the legend, all right? It connects to an ordinary propane tank. Flat top griddle. Little space in the back to scoop any of your leftovers. You can sear on here, you can stir fry on here, you can saute on here. So much more practical than a regular barbecue grill. All right, we're gonna give you two of the spatulas. All right, if you guys can see, you're gonna get two. You remember that sound? Japanese restaurant, right? You're getting two of these so that you can do the cheese steak. You can chop all the veggies. You're gonna get two of these. You're getting also the scoop, which is also used for, 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 for stir frying. You can use this as well, but it's also meant for cleaning the grill. Two of the squeegees to be able to add whatever liquid, you know how they do in the Japanese place or whatever? They wanna add, uh, you know, a little, uh, a little uh, you know, alcohol, flame it up a little bit, a little wine, it's teriyaki soy for your stir fry. Two of those, and we are giving you a Blackstone cover. Covers alone are like 40, 50 bucks, these spatulas. These are like 15, 20 bucks a piece. These are included, all right? And then you're also gonna get the grill. Uh, the grill comes in this, uh, we are down, are we down to the last color in the grill, Rob? Silver, the one I like. This is it right here. Takes up a little bit less space than a regular barbecue grill and it works on your propane tank. You will love it. It is made of rolled steel. You will have this probably the rest of your life, okay? It's, it's that durable. It is easy to clean. You're gonna love it, so let's talk about the price. Every day of the week, I can't read the price from here, but I think it's what, like 380? 390 for the entire value, 390 bucks. We sell it for 379 here. Today, we dropped $80 off the price. Lowest price ever. If you've always wanted one, you wanna make your own cheese steaks, you wanna do your smash burgers, you wanna do your sausage and peppers without the peppers going through the grill, seafood, without, you'd never cook seafood like clams and, and mussels on a regular barbecue, they, they, all the juice would fall through. There's the smash burgers, $60 on flex pay. I have 325 to go around for everybody in the country. Let me introduce you to my special guest. Sorry, Taylor, I know that took a long time. Oh, you're fine. But it's such a cool item. This is Taylor Mock, everybody. Hey! Taylor welcome. is not only a relatively new mom, but yes. she's been working with us in the kitchen for many, 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 many years. She brings yeah. us wonderful treats. <laughs> Look at the food you got so going there, good. girl. Yes, I know. And, and first and foremost, let me just tell y'all. I am not a chef, right? I am not an outdoor professional oh barbecuer. You know what I am? I am a busy mom. I'm a busy individual. Um, you know, I need my meals to come out quick, but most importantly, I need them delicious, right? right. Um, and so what we lose with an open flame grill, let's be honest, is the juices most of the yeah, time. Yeah, it goes down, feeds the fire. What is so perfect about a griddle, this is cold rolled steel, baby. This is like the good, 
tank top. This is made so particular, um, and that's what holds and locks in the flavors of your food is the cold rolled steel. So let's think about this as a cast iron skillet, right? I wanted to show you how beautiful oh, these look, steaks are. Look at these the steaks. Way. Look, look, look. I know. I love look that crispy that one. Um, I want to show you the beauty of just how it, it caramelizes so nicely. This, something like this, this breakfast yeah. would probably take, I don't know, all of 10 minutes. Uh, where am I? Maybe? Yeah, but I gotta, I gotta go inside to do the potatoes. Yeah, right. You don't I, I gotta go inside to do the bacon. Exactly. You, right. are, you are not in three different locations. You don't have your potatoes in the oven or in the skillet. You don't have your bacon in the air fryer or the skillet. You don't have your steak on your cast iron skillet or grill outside. Oh it's all in one. And that's what I absolutely just adore about this Blackstone. You know, again, this is not complicated. Guy, you know, this is so easy. You don't need to be a chef, but I will tell you. You don't need to be a chef. You will improve your cooking skills exponentially by having this. Hey, oh, anybody definitely. can flip a burger on, a, on, a, on, a, on an outdoor grill. It's so fun. This it is. is so much easier to work with. Because you don't have to worry about so breaking your easy. food, having it fall apart, go down into the grates. Yep. And you're getting And those... the cleanup is a gif. Yeah. I'll show you how to do that. You're getting the spatulas, by the way, which are the key to being able to utilize crispy. this. I think you're there, girl. Yeah, I know. I, How's I, that bacon? I going? like mine crispy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I know, this bacon's too. pretty good. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and, and start plating this stuff. And I want to talk about the capacity. It's 22 inches across, okay? okay? You can fit quite a bit of food on here. You can feed a whole pool party. <laughs> you can feed just you and your husband on date night, throw a couple of steaks on the grill. Um, you can even do some smash burgers for you and a family of, I don't know, you can have up to maybe 40 burgers on, smash burgers on here. Um, so, you know, you can be creative on what you do on here, how much you're cooking, but most importantly, like I said, it's the time, the time you are saving. There's not a multiple places you gotta be in one. And clean up to Jeff. I'm gonna oh, add yeah. some eggs. So, at this point, you could scrape off any little bits that you wanted to. They go right in the back. Yep. So we give you the scraper. You get and the then scraper. Watch how it does eggs. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna actually add a couple of water here. You're getting this, by the way, you're getting two of these squirt bottles. Um, and you can fill one up with water, one up with oil. And I'm just simply scraping off what was left over, okay? So I, I call it the goodies, right? Yeah, yeah. All the goodies that were left, I don't need. There's a little divot in the back guy. You guys over there hiding because it does get hot, but I love that you just hide. You hide all that stuff in the back and that's it. It is gone that easy of a cleanup. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more oil on here. I'm going to drop some eggs down. Now the beauty of this is you could do sunny side up on here. You can do scrambled. You can do an omelet. Whatever your little heart desires. Here you go. I know. Hey, it. we got a people, couple people calling in. They want to know, like, when I get yeah. it home, do I have to do anything special to it when I nope. get it? Nope. No. Uh, you have to season it, obviously. I mean, that's quick. So, that is yeah. so quick. So let me tell you what that's all about. You heat it up. Put some oil on there. You want to let that oil sit on there for a while, right? Scrape it up. A lot of people use salt yep. on there as, as well. Yep, salt. But remember, once you do that, you've basically seasoned the top. It gets better and better. Remember, as time goes you want, you your, cook on you want it. your your uh, your black stone griddle to eventually be black. That's right. right. You want you it, and it, it till will. It's black. As that carbon heats up over and over again, it's going to start to get that black look. That's right. That's what you want. Yep. And that's how easy. All right. Here's the value. What are you getting? What am I getting here? Oh man, look at those eggs. Watch this. Oh, you so I don't have a to quick flip them. Steam. You don't even have to flip them if you don't want to. Let that steam cook so you got a beautiful so, sunny side. 20 out. bucks for the cover. Spatula is another $22. Uh, eight bucks for the squeegees and, the, and, and nine bucks, excuse me, for the squeegees and eight bucks for the scraper. Uh, $130, right? And, the, and 199 is the total of everything on there. Remember, you do have to supply your own propane tank. All right, that's for the stand. If you just bought the Blackstone grill top, it's 200 bucks. We're giving you the stand, that's 130. It's a $400 value, and you're getting it today for 299. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, now, look at these eggs. So now, you can continue keep that dome down. I just wanted to show you that I like aspect. them sunny side, like that. Do you like it? Okay, so. so you could do one like that and then flip a couple. You can do that. Here, yeah. let me just do one like this, because I want to show all the different things you can do. Watch this, I'm just gonna flip it on here. And you see how this has naturally become non-stick? That's right. I mean, you add a little bit of oil every time. I literally let it sit yeah. one, two, three, three four, five, and done. I'm done. That's it. And it's that beautiful, y'all. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at this breakfast I made, and 
I, I would say, I'm saying 10 minutes because I'm counting my prep time of actually getting the steaks out here um, and the bacon. Watch, watch, um, watch. It okay. is super quick. I want to show everybody your perfect egg. Okay, yeah, do All it, right. do it. You ready? You getting in there? Yeah, let's here we go. go. Here's you. Ooh, look at that baby. Here, we got it. Should look we do that? Oh! Look at that. Look at that. Now, I, Brent, that I know you're looking at that. You're going, what? there's something about an oozy egg, man. Oh, something about an Look at that. One more. Uzi Bang. Egg. Look at that. So these are perfectly that. cooked. That is a breakfast of champions right there. And you did the whole thing. And here's my cleanup. One cleanup. This is it, y'all. Oh. I'm taking this squirt bottle. It's got water in it. I'm just a squirting on here. I'm taking this scraper in which you are getting, and all I'm doing is I'm scraping the goodies. Oh my God. Scraping the goodies to the back. There is no taking the, all the pans oh, and that, washing them in the sink. Those and potatoes and eggs are so good. You like them? Oh my, no, I love Made them. Made it just for you guys. The best. Just for Those you. The best. Look at that. Just like that, clean up that easy. Now, what you would want to do. Um, in a perfect world when I'm not out here having to move along is yeah. you would just maybe take a little cloth, wipe it off, re-oil it, turn your grill off, turn your propane off, close your lid, put your, let it cool, put your yeah. cover on, and, and that's it. I mean, I mean, there's really no crazy cleanup. When I say crazy cleanup, there's not a million dishes. You're not in the kitchen going in and out of the sliding glass right. door, moving things from outside inside. That's it. This it's is a it. whole kitchen outside. And remember, you can cook a heck of a lot more on a flat top. Yes. Which is why every, almost every restaurant has them, right? Because every the, the, the burgers you have, the best burgers I ever had have been in a diner, I'm telling you. Mm. That smash burger, they do it on a flat top grill. Yep. All your breakfasts, uh, you know, your pancakes, your eggs, your omelets, your stir fries. Your cheese steaks. I mean, you you go to Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. You think they're they're not cooking? Where are you? Right here. They're not cooking your cheese steak on a barbecue grill. Mm -hmm. And I'm not poo pooing the barbecue grill. It's great, but this is so much more practical. And you could do brunch with your family. Take them outside. You could do French toast. You can do bacon. That's what you it's do... all about, guys. Oh my gosh. Bringing in the family. All right, here comes a classic. Here comes it. All right, Philly cheese steaks. Now listen. Have you all ever tried to make Philly cheese steak inside your house? If you do. It is a nightmare. It's hard. It's hard. Not to mention your house is it's filling up with smoke because of that high meat. It needs it needs to be on high. And here you are with your big your skillet and you're trying to do like this and, and you don't have enough space. And, and here it is. Y'all, I make the easiest, the yummiest Philly steaks on the Blackstone. In the comfort of my own home, I am not paying an arm and a leg for a good Philly cheesesteak, okay? Because you know what? I'm confident that I will put forth one of the best Phillies that someone's ever had. And I'm not even from Philly, so. You want some salt and pepper? Please. I know when you need it. I know when you need it. I know when you need it. Look at that. There you go, girl. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome, so darling. This, I don't know, would you say five minutes? Ooh, that pepper got me. Woo! Did I get you a little bit? <laughs> got me. I would say maybe five. You start five. sneezing, I'll take over. You yeah. know, you don't have to worry, girl. <laughs> but I want everybody to see. We're not, we That's are using that sear on the pan to develop the flavor. Yeah. See this down here where my finger is? You can slide that. That's all flavor, guys. Oh, that's all. And listen, that is what makes your Blackstone flavorful. You know, you heard the old saying on the grandma's uh, cast iron skillet. Why does my grandmother's cast iron skillet make the best food? It could be anything. It could be boiled water and it's going to taste the best. You know, know why? Because she's cooked on it. She has made all sorts of things on it, and it's locked in that fit flavor over time. This is called food memory. That is what we call the Blackstone. It Look at how beautiful that color. And the memory of the food. And, and you know what I love? Look at these veggies. You can see they're all getting a little bit of a char on the outside. Yeah, just flatten them out They're here. not going through the grate because there ain't no grate. Let's grate add some might, butter. They may call it grate, but it ain't so great for cooking a lot of different things. That's and you know very that. true. So if you want it, grab it now. So good. My producer Rob's going to update me. I know we had about 350 or something like that. I think we get, we have just a hair over 300, so people are already grabbing it, and we are halfway through the presentation. This is more than likely going to sell out. I know it takes a while for you to watch it, but if you want to get one of these home and delivered, did you ever, did you ever buy a grill at a store and then you got to put the dang thing together. Oh gosh. Right? And Nightmare. then you got to drive it home and then, oh hey, don't worry. Nightmare. For hundred bucks, we'll come to your house and we'll put it together for you. Oh, thanks. Now, now I'm up, I'm in at 500 bucks for a barbecue grill. Mm -hmm. This, you don't got to do nothing, man. Comes to your house, put it on the, you put the, the grill on top of the stand, connect your propane, propane tank. Yep, that's it. And man, let me tell you, look at how good that looks. Taylor. You like it? 
Hey, are you a whiz with cheese? You know, the whole like, I, I like cheese or provolone? Like, what is your preference? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Well, I'll be honest, I made one of these the other day. I had to do it in a, I, I did it in a saute pan, which is a pain in the neck. But I used whiz. I love, I actually used Velveeta, which I like. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll put that on yeah, there. Yeah, that's a little bit well, of I this. I just think it mixes a little bit Ooh, that's better. That's a hot but, knife. Yeah, Let's don't hurt yourself else. now. Here, what you got? Just there dump it. Go. What do you need? You got a little, No, uh, that's all I need, just a little little dumpy. So I was wondering if you like the whiz, cheese with, with, without, the whole, Here, the whole nine yards. Here, I'll just dump it on. Or you do it on last, or you do Oh, yeah, I you... do it last. Okay, yeah, good so idea. So do you want that on your sandwich? No, I want to watch I, you do I'm what you do. I'm making lunch for Guy, y'all, okay? I want you to do what you do. Do you want okay. me to help you by holding anything? You're the best, yes. Look at this, how quick was this? My meat's cooked now, again, in a perfect world, how I really, really like my Philly cheesesteaks is I like my veggie soggy. My husband likes some crunchy. Crispy. I don't, I'm not, not crunchy Al dente. for me. I like mine, when I'm doing it this way, Let's do like in cheese. a stir fry, I like it that way, but this way, I like it to be, I don't you want like it to be it? crunchy. You, you don't or you do? I, I don't. So yeah, I like it like neither. you like it. Me yeah, neither. I like it a little so bit So I'm going to show you a quick way to saute or get those veggies a little bit more less al dente. Um, and same with the cheese. So you see how I put the cheese? Gotcha, Thank honey. you. Okay. Right on top. I'm going to take my water. Again, you guys are getting a, two squirt bottles. Uh, you can put water in one, oil in the other. Watch me here. I'm going to take my water. I'm going to go round, round, and then I'm going to close the lid. And what that's doing is it's creating, all that water is getting evaporated. It's creating a steam convection. It's, it's really just creating an oven, essentially, in your Blackstone. That's what's so great about this Blackstone. Not all Blackstones have the lids. Oh, I know. So your griddle is coming with a lid. So you can do things like this that make your life a little easier. So uh, once this cheese goes go. down, we'll plate it here. Look, y'all see guy over here. He's got me set up with this hoagie. Watch this now. All right, don't bury your hand. I won't, honey, I won't. All right, all I right. I got restaurant hands. I'll oh, be he, all right. he's, he said he had you restaurant hands. Best. Be careful now. It's That's hot. Right. Just dump it in there. Oh, gosh. All, all right. right. You got it? You want watch the out, cheese whiz or no I'll, whiz? Watch out. OK, hold on. We oh, got the look shot. at that. Oh, what do you look think? at the shot. What do you Beautiful. think of that? Beautiful. All right, now, now this it's one. it's really hot. It's really hot. Give it a minute. Watch what I'm going to do. Now, watch it. what I'm going to do with this one. I'm okay. going to make this one even. I'm going to make this one even crazier. Oh, there you go. So I'm he's doing the cheese whiz. If you're new to that, it's basically like melted cheese, Velveeta cheese. How's right? That? And then, you, and then you plate your meat here. here. You go ahead and you can pop that right on there like Look that. Look at this, y'all. All right. I mean, the beauty of this sandwich cooked from the comfort. Really, from my home or HSN. I'm drooling over here. I don't even know how to grab it. this bad boy. Hold on. All right. All right, there. You I want to the hold it like goodies? that, and then you can get a close-up of it. we got to get the rest of these goodies yeah. on here. And then we're going to show you how to clean it. Yep. And because it's I want so everybody to understand, easy. do not be afraid about cleaning this grill. It's the easiest thing you'll ever do because oh, you've yeah. got all the great... Ooh, Look at how good that is. Beautiful. Looks. I'm just going to come up close Go ahead, because I yeah, want you to get a to shot see. of that. Now, this is for my smash burgers, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. But let's, listen to me. This is that. so easy. Just grab your shaved ribeye, get you some peppers, some onions, some mushrooms, and you want to talk about an outdoor <laughs> feast. I'm going to take a little bite of that meat. Maybe it's for, we've had our neighbors oh over. Oh, my God. You love it? Good. Amazing. Listen, have your neighbors over for a cocktail hour, wow. okay? Have the grandbabies over. They're going to love, love, so, love this. Uh, Taylor, let's show everybody the grill. So yep. I don't know how close you guys can get. I know we got a lot of sunshine out yeah, here. Yeah, it is pretty bright. But there is some burnt cheese on there. You yep. see it right there? Just Watch out, a little Taylor. bit of water here. And you can use either the spatulas or the cleaning scraper. Yep, you can do either one. But here, look, this is the scraper. Where are you guys at? You, this is the scraper that you're going to be getting. So yep. all I'm doing is I'm essentially scraping. Now watch this. I love this part. Look at this watch, stuff. Watch, watch, watch. Look at Go that. On. Just right off of there. Now, now, as you need water as you go, just add more. There's no soap you're putting on this, never, and you're not scrubbing. You will scrubbing. never put soap on this grill. Look at that. All right, water, clean it, add oil. Remember, when you heat it up, it heats up to about probably five or five, 600 degrees. 550, Anything yep. that's residual on there is not going to be alive nope. once you put that on there, so you don't have to worry about leftover food that's and it. bacteria and things like that because yep. it's going to be killed every time you fire that grill up. Look at that. Beautiful, Look at how right? Clean that is. Now, what I would normally do and add add more oil, like I said, just wow. take a cloth, wipe it, add oil, close it, make sure your propane's off, and that's it. Now we're gonna do smash burgers, okay? Have you oh. ever had Chicago style smash burgers? Best. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna change your life, okay? And you're gonna wanna I'm do this. At your food. You pick at that food. All no, right. Look at that pepper. So what you do, 
I'm gonna come right behind you here. What you do is you take shaved onions, like super, super thin, and then you're gonna put them here on the flat. Now, why I'm, why I'm showing you this recipe is because with an open flame grill, you cannot do this. Can't make a smash burger. I mean, this would go right through your grates. It would just burn all the way through. It would be a disaster. You can do this here on this Blackstone. And in, I don't know, a quarter of the time. I love watching her do this. It's my favorite thing. It's fun, Watch right? Watch how much fun. You get your kids out there. Matt, you know, don't let them, uh, they're little, so keep them away from the grill because it's hot. But you know, it's you get hot, your kids yeah. out there and they're watching. Yep. What Taylor's going to do now, she's going to smash these bad boys and, and the, the onions these. are going to caramelize and That's the right. juice is going to go right into them burgers. Here we watch, go. Watch her go. So we're going to smash, 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 smash. You see how I have them crossed? Yeah. You're getting these two spatulas. Just smash it as smashed as you can, right? So what that's doing is, now whenever you go to, uh, and there's your little mark, your Blackstone mark right there on your burger, which is a nice little touch. Um, but whenever you go to your fast food places that we, you know, every once in a while we do indulge, you know, it's not healthy, but we do it. This is how they do it. This is what they do. But here's the difference, guy, and you know this. The amount of fat and all sorts of things that are on their flat, their griddles, whatever griddle they use, um, we don't know what's on that. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the difference. I'm getting to choose 90-10 beef, the type of meat I'm using, and I get to choose the oil I'm using. You can make a healthier smash burger with ghee butter. Yeah. You know? I agree. Olive oil. I'm using Ibu, extra virgin olive oil. Um, and that's where you have control in your food. Now, look around this, this smash burger. You can see the onions that are starting to caramelize. Y'all, you're not gonna get that on an open flame grill. Nope. You're just not, you can't. And now the key here, don't monkey with it. No. Leave it. Leave it, don't touch it, flip it one time. When you see that onion start to turn brown, and only then will you give it a little toss. I like a little salt and pepper on mine too, like yep. that. You know, there are, places, there are places in the South where they make these burgers, they, ain't, they don't even give you ketchup. No, They're like, right. no, man, you like, eat that. It. The it, flavor the is in the there. meat and the onion. Yep. And they may, and you know what's funny? They sometimes will give you mustard. But yep. they won't, they, the ketchup, I don't know what it is about ketchup. I'm a, a huge ketchup like, fan, but I'll tell you. how dare you put ketchup on our no, burger? No, let me tell you, when I, when I have like a Wagyu burger, I like to taste the meat. You know what I mean? Oh, and, yeah. And, I, and, and that is just, Why would you want to mess up oh, that taste so with anything else? So, so if you, you want to add a little here? flavor, yep, you can I'm add a little around. butter. See, and this is fine. It's real butter. You can't do this on an open flame grill. It's no, just no, there's, no. There, there's no way, y'all. You just can't. Your butter would go straight through those grates. And you want to talk about your grates being gross. Do you see me when I'm cleaning doing like this? You're scrubbing your, your grates on your open grill. It's a mess. It takes you forever to clean it up. That's one of the best parts about Blackstone. Hey, let's talk about the success. I'm gonna leave that here, y'all, okay? Let's talk about something fun with the family, a successful dinner night. You are the entertainer, because here I am. I, I grabbed the water, you need the oil. Are you gonna, oh, I know what you're making okay. next. I know what she's making. Now, this is my favorite thing to do. In Blackstone Nation, as I like to call it, they know this is their favorite too because it's most fun and you can't get this taste anywhere else. Can I make the noise else. first? Can I make the noise? Ready? Yeah, yeah ready. You know that sound? That's hibachi. Hibachi Come or hamanyaki. Yep. <laughs> you get these, doing. by the way. You get the spatula. So yeah, you absolutely do. Oh, this do. is my favorite, my favorite. Oh, look yeah, at watch it. It's, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. So you could never obviously do that on a barbecue grill, right? You could never do a big giant stir fry. Right. Oh my gosh. I look know, so this. good. I'm just, I'm so just getting some of that oil out of there. Thank you, yeah, that's the oil that's popping. All right, there you go, honey. All right, I think you're so okay. listen. Just be careful. Listen, all I did was I pre-cooked this rice about seven hours. You can even do 24 hours in advance. As advance. Um, and then once you do that, you put it in your refrigerator for, I don't know, like I said, seven to 24 hours. And what it does is it allows the, the rice to crispify because you want a crispy rice like you would on hibachi. I'm standing back a little bit because I'll be honest, this oil is a popping. It is so hot out here, y'all. Get moving, girl. You that. know what you're doing. Hey, real okay. quick while I have the chance. I want to remind everybody, I've got 250 of these. We got a lot of people that are ordering it right now. So it's, I know it's considered purchase. It takes a little while. But you will love this, all right? Oh, I'm, if you're a foodie so good. Or, or if you're an inexperienced cook, 
This is the easiest way to learn. Barbecue's this not is easy. It. Barbecue's How not easy. How much would you spend out. on this? You gotta watch barbecue like a hawk. That's right. Right? This this is just like cooking with a big pan. Only you're getting that great sear on that rolled steel. So oh, yeah. I wanna give everybody the dimensions. The griddle and cart are 48 or 45.8 inches long. They are 22 inches. The griddle part itself is 22 yes. inches across. Great space. It's about 38 inches, so about three, a little over three feet high. All right? Uh, it weighs about 65 pounds, so it's easy to move around. You know, you're getting the cart, so you can move it from place to place. If you buy it today, you're getting it at a discount. Look at we that. We dropped the Ooh, price. So good. By, it was $379. It's $80 off. If you tried to buy all this stuff piecemeal. Oh, yeah. And all you gotta do is get a tank. Gotta have a propane tank. We're not allowed to ship tanks. Right. So if you try to buy a piecemeal, the grill itself is $199. The stand is $130. Uh, all the uh, accessories, the spatulas, the squeegee bottles, the cleaner, the scraper. That's another you know, $10, $20, $30, $40. Mm -hmm. $20 for a cover, right? You're gonna get a cover to go with it. It's almost $400. Bucks. You're gonna pay over $100 less than that. And let me tell you, what are you doing? A shrimp stir fry? I'm doing shrimp stir fry. Look Yo, at the color. This is it looks so just like the easy. stuff in the, in the Japanese All restaurant. All you do is you get your soy sauce. You can even do a teriyaki, uh, teriyaki sauce here. And then I literally am flattening it out. Look, I, I told you, I pre-cooked it seven hours, 24 hours in advance, kept it in the refrigerator, brought it out, put it on here. I got my vegetables. I went ahead and mixed it in. You don't have to. You can be selective on this. Go ahead and add your salt and pepper. Like yeah. I said, your, your sweet sauce. And you sauce. can let that sit. Let that sit. You see how I flattened it out? Yeah. Because you know what I'm doing? I'm frying the rice. You know what you're doing? You're adding a little crisp. Crisp? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And listen, I'm having fun. I'm not in the kitchen, not being with my family outside while they're in the pool. Look at this meal. Or, you know, they're chatting and telling what's, what's going on with life. I hate that feeling, guy, where I'm, like, missing out. I'm not missing out on this. I am in the elements within my family, enjoying it. And, and honestly, I'm on this baby four or five times out of the week. I'm gonna let these shrimp simmer just a little bit there. Let's check on this rice. Oh, look at that. Right. I want you to see the How difference here. How close can you guys get to that? Yes. Right there. Do You've you see got... that caramelization on that rice? You see it? You know what they it's didn't beautiful. give us at all? Any forks out here. What, we don't got no forks? I got no forks, Oh man. my a... goodness. What's that, Rob? I probably could grab it, but, I, you know, uh, I did, it's probably going to be a little hot. You know, the tailor's going to get mad at me if I keep stealing food. You're almost done, right? Listen, Are you going to do the onion done. or no? I, I'm going to do the onion. Do we have time for that? Yeah, oh, you got All right, so you let gotta me just, make time. Okay, listen, y'all. I'm going to scoot this rice this back over. This is the over. star of the show. You want to talk about your kids thinking you're the coolest thing ever or your grandkids? Whip out the onion and make you a volcano. Right, and you're ready? gonna be like, what are you talking about? Are you building it for me? I'm helping you out. All right. All right, because I know what you got. Hey, listen. Look at this. Look All at right, that. girl. All right, I'm gonna take a high proof alcohol, 151. I'm gonna squeeze Stand it in back. here. Stand back. I'm gonna take my lighter, and then just like that, it flames up. Just <laughs> step back, don't get too close. And look how cool that is. They you're probably think... having a hard time seeing it because we're in the sun here, oh. but yeah. You, you can, can you see, see a little bit of flame under okay. there oh, cooking good. up. Now okay. let that cook down, then chop it and up. And chop that, it up and mix it in mix your it rice. In. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but oh. for time purposes, I'm gonna take this baby off here and then listen. Couple hundred left. This feeds. Couple hundred left, that's it. That's it. And they're this, going. this feeds, I don't know, what would you say? Maybe four or five people if they're really hungry? Probably more than that. You think more than that? Yeah, oh, it depends yeah. on how hungry they are, right? So I'm gonna mix all this up and this plating is stunning. Add some green onion on top. Can you imagine having your friends over and you got one thing to clean one That's thing to it. cook you, you're focusing on your friends when you plate this up you're gonna see how much food we got here in this 22 inch griddle watch how much food is here look at this i mean taylor i'm telling you this is a big this platter, is not four this or five is... people this is like six to eight but explain people. how big this plate is this is a huge yeah, plate this I'll is not our normal size plate here yeah 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 and listen we are known, we have a whole community of Blackstone lovers. We call them Griddle Nation, okay? People who love to create recipes and share. So automatically, when you purchase your Blackstone, you're getting friendships. You're getting ideas on what to Ready? do. And that just makes it so much oh, extra onion. special. Where do you want me to go? Look at that. Ready? Beautiful. All Woo. right, get me in the picture. You see how big this is. So you can see the size of this platter. It's as wide as me. We've probably got five or six pounds of food on there. That's a lot. All right, that is a lot of food. 
All right, so what, look at the size of it. And we did it all in one. Now, remember, all we'd have yep. to do over here is water, scrape. That's it. Oil, turn it off, cover it. I'm over here with my burgers. Yeah. We can't forget about these smash burgers. So listen, easy again. And I want you to know, I want to welcome you to the Blackstone oh, family because it burger. truly is something special. You will absolutely love, love it. Well, For the busy moms, busy individuals. Taylor. You're not a chef, that's all right. Because guess what, neither am I. You are amazing. And let me tell you, know what, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Taylor a little hand, because I would tell you. It's out here, y'all, I'm telling you. Know you know what, you're all by yourself, and you've got a half dozen cameras, and you're trying to get, this is a great job. When you're home, you're gonna be loving it with your friends and family. You're Definitely gonna look, you're gonna, gonna be the star it. of the hibachi. You are. And remember, you can cook absolutely anything on it. My dear, you are wonderful. Thank, Thank you so you much, guys. appreciate Enjoy. you. Thank you, Enjoy, Thank you, Be right everybody. back, we got Kitchen HQ going inside. It's cool in there, nice. I created Nakery Beauty to address your biggest beauty concerns. At Nakery, we work with scientists to create highly effective products using powerful ingredients that work together to target your specific needs. This is skincare for your whole body, and we're proud to be considered an HSN clean beauty brand. Inspired by women like you, Nakery is dedicated to providing cutting edge innovations so you can feel beautiful all over. Life under the sea is better than anything they got going on up there. If you had just seen it, the ship rode on the wind and they filled the sky with fire. Ariel, wait! Somebody got to nail that girl's fins to the floor. Disney's The Little Mermaid and HSN have teamed up to bring you a limited time collection inspired by the live action film. Join us May 23rd for this HSN TV special. Plus, check out behind the scenes and interviews on the HSN streaming app. Watch the TV special May 23rd and see the movie in theaters May 26th. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369 all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $20 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash HSN card. I am happy to see my friend John Florell. I'm actually happy to be inside in the air conditioning right now because you know we're in Florida. Get those, we got all those grills going for our show, and it gets a little hot out there. But I'll tell you, do you see that food? Beautiful stuff oh, out there. Oh, unbelievable! See that? Yeah. So John is John's been with us for years and years and years. I've known John. John's been my buddy forever. This guy is an outdoorsman, is cook, chef. He knows. I mean, he knows a little bit about everything. And he knows a good product, I will tell you that. And you know what's wonderful about this? You know, I think about my mom. It's, sometimes yep. it's really hard to open up cans, right? You're a senior, you're trying to move your <laughs> right. hands around, it's jumping off, you can't get it started. This is a revolutionary can opener that works with the touch of a button, John. Yep. Uh, we know, have it in three colors. Yeah. yeah, red, teal, or black. It's, it's, I mean, look at this, we're opening cans. Uh, I know, all you do is place it on top of the can, it does the work for you. Uh, when it's done, it automatically shuts off. Uh, and here's the best part, you never have to worry about sharp edges on your cans anymore because it literally opens the seal from the factory so there are no sharp edges. You're not gonna cut yourself. You don't have to worry about dropping this into a, you know, you know those uh, uh, plastic uh, garbage liners? Oh, yeah. You, you ever pick one up and walk across to the kitchen floor and have, yeah. you know. You might as well put a knife in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. It just cuts right through. You never have to worry about it. And I love it too because I've got a little dog at home. Yeah. Well, you, you have the canned dog food? Sure. You, we only use a half a can. I can place that back over the top and keep it in the fridge. It keeps it sealed in there, but then all you do is pop it back yeah. off again. I do Because that. it's not opening, yeah. it's not creating any sharp edges right. at all. You never have to worry about it. it so here's right how simple it is. Yep. And, and it works with any size can too, uh, whether you use it on the top of the can, the bottom of the can. And I love it too because it's got a little magnet. So when you lift it off, it brings the lid with it. So you never have to worry about that lid falling into the food in the Brilliant. can. Yep. It's the best little can opener. And I love it too because it's rechargeable guy. I don't have so to put batteries in it. You don't have it. to put batteries in oh. it. All, all you do is plug it into any USB port and or right into the wall yeah. and it opens every can. When, it, when, when you're ready to use it, it's ready to go. 
any size. And I mean the larger size, because remember, you know, you get these big industrial soup cans, or if you're doing a barbecue or whatever, or cookout right. or whatever, and you got beans you need to open up, you just put it on, hit the button. It's gonna find its way around, it's yep. gonna work its way around, and you don't Whether, have to. In I an mean, RV, yeah, maybe it's a camping, boat, maybe boating. you can take it with you camping. All you're gonna do is place it over whatever can that you wanna open, okay, press this little red button right here on the top, and you're gonna see this little red button. I don't know if you can, we can show this or not. Yeah, we'll wait for it. Pull we'll this out of the there, way here. I'll put this is. one in okay, the middle. So. That way you guys can see this. Right here on the red, there's a little little button. You press that button, it grabs the edge of the can and then starts working its way around, all right? And all you do is press a button. You, there's no more twisting, no yeah. more turning, no more any of that stuff. When it's done, it turns off automatically. So when you're using this at home, what you're gonna do is put, let me put this <laughs> Your down. beans are open. <laughs> I forgot the beans. <laughs> yeah. Let me put this down here. Okay. You're opening up a can of beans to opening up a can of, well, maybe it's a small can, like this little uh, tomato paste. All you do is press that button, place it on top. It works on any size can, so all you do is press that button. It's working its way around. Yep without having to worry about sharp edges, without having to worry about any of that. I'm turning the can here so you guys can see this yeah, working. And it's, that's and, what it does, it works its way around. I know, and then when, you get, when it gets to the end, it automatically shuts off. Remember, these are rechargeable. You can use them dozens of times in between charging. Yeah. Okay, and look at this, when it gets to the end, it'll automatically turn off. You see that button? It yeah. turned off automatically, it backs up. You lift it. And, and it brings the lid with you because it's got that magnet and, on the bottom that lifts the lid. And remember, if you're using it on little cans, I would hold the can because it's really, really small. Yeah. <laughs> and it almost weighs as much as the can opener. Yeah, so yeah, that's right. why it kind of, that's why it gets a little tippy. So on a small can, just hold the can <laughs> and that's all you need to do. But literally you're not limited. And I love the fact, John, that I can put that seal back on. Right. I don't have to worry about cutting my fingers. Guys, this is $20 and change. All right, okay, we're gonna get an update. Colors. I got less than 200 in teal. Red is the number one seller, that's going quickly. If you want one <laughs> desperately, black, we're, that's the one we have the most quantity in. When you get it home, pl you know, plug it in, just charge it up, and then you're gonna get, I mean, you, you'll get multiple, multiple uses of it before you, before you have to recharge it again. Right, right. And there's even a little, there's a little battery gauge right on there, so you're right, good to go. Right, battery gauge and everything. All you do is plug it into any USB. It plugs into the back of the unit. And, well, I gotta show you this too, because these are super easy to clean. I don't know if you guys can see this up close, but underneath the can opener, itself right down here yeah okay you'll see it's all wipeable so you just take a rag wipe that off if you do get some tomato paste on there it comes sure. off easily it's all sealed on this end so you never have to worry about it and they stay in the drawer so in the drawer you're gonna see it and when you see it every right. day you're gonna use it every you're day you're gonna use it yeah, yeah. And, and the old ones are not only not very they're, they're, they never really seem to get clean. Right. Uh, you know, people don't know how to clean the old ones. They've got teeth and they've got gears and you're trying to deal with that. Everything is that, that you're seeing is on the inside. It just goes around the exterior. So you're not contaminating the can opener. It's not gonna get tuna oil. Right. Or, or dog food flavor right. on it, right? It's, it stays on the exterior. That's right. Yep. That's, and that's the best part about it is everything stays on the exterior. The lids never fall down into the food because remember, it's, it's, it's cutting that factory seal on the outside of the can yeah so if you're cut as you're cutting that outside seal what it's doing is pop it's basically glued on there and what it's doing is popping that loose so you're not actually cutting the top of the can right remember those old I, I, they were like uh, uh camping ones yeah. the can openers the cheap where ones. you literally yeah. had to turn it and move oh, it and turn yeah. it and move it and turn it and move it oh, we're dating <laughs> ourselves on that. oh yeah that's and old you school. end up cutting yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you pop the lid off you could literally cut your steak with <laughs> you sure. know, with sharp. that lid and by the way sharp. be patient with it, let it do its business. Yep. You can be doing something else while you're taking care of business, and it is you're gonna come back and your can's gonna be completely cut. Look, we know when it pops, right? Like it just did, you're good to go. And it backs off automatically, and then all you do is that. pop the lid off. And I love this too, guy, because remember, there are no sharp edges, so you're not gonna cut yourself with the lid, but because you're opening that factory seal, you can pop that back on there, seal it back up. I mean, it's not gonna get an airtight seal, no, but you're but keeping the lid on it, so like with dog food or keep something. Keep the odors that you're, out. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's a can of peaches that you wanna pour, put some with some cottage cheese yeah, at night yeah, for yeah. a little snack, yep. and you're not eating a whole can, you can keep that can in the fridge, and you don't have to worry 
about it going bad. Any size can. It works right. on. It's a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> and if you've got issues with your hands, opening a can is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. It really is. Oh, yeah. My mother would never open a can by herself. And she'd be like, are you crazy? I'm trying to get the thing. And then trying to puncture. And then trying to twist it. Don't do that. Get one of these. All right. Last call on the, is it the blue? Teal. So if you want the teal, got about 10 dozen left in the teal. I'm okay in the red. Uh, that's getting down, but we also have it in the black. $20 and change. You'll never have to open a can the old-fashioned way again, and you won't <laughs> have to worry about your garbage falling apart when those right, metal right. sharp cans explode when you take it out to the garbage. <laughs> right. It never leaves a, a sharp edge. Uh, exclusive here, our own brand, which is why we can do it so affordably. 832-081. Try it. You got nothing to lose. You're gonna love. You're gonna love how it works. All right. Oh. Have we shown everybody the price on the grill pan yet? All right. So here we go. Go ahead, Johnny. You go over and get yourself ready to go. So, the last time I aired this, I didn't even tell you this. I bought two. Oh, nice. Because the price. I know. Is so ridiculous. I, you guys know I know a lot about cookware. So does John, right? We. I, I used to buy cookware for my restaurants, right? When I was managing restaurants. So I know how much a cast iron grill pan costs. And let me tell you, you could spend two, three hundred dollars oh, yeah. on a French version. Oh yeah. Right? Oh, easily. Ours are every bit this good. They're cast iron, except we put nonstick on the inside so that you don't have to worry about seasoning it. You don't have to worry about putting acids, tomatoes, you know, that can 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 affect No the rusting. Pit. No rusting. No. <laughs> and it has gives you the grill marks on the steak. All right. A, a reasonable pan of this size, of this value would be yep. about a hundred bucks. Yep. 80, 90 bucks. Easily. We're gonna reveal our price. Our price is $47 every day of the week. Are you ready? Go ahead. It's $19.97. Wow. You understand why I bought two? That's why I bought two. Yeah. Well, I don't need to, but I'm like, I'm gonna give one to my, my, my brother when yeah, he comes down because not? it's a great pan. Virtually it's, indestructible. It's cast iron. These are heavy pans. These are, these are solid cast iron. Uh, they're done beautifully on the outside with the different colors, but the inside has those little grilling ridges on the bottom, which give you the grill marks on your chicken, steak, your fish, anything that you want to do inside this pan will give you that beautiful grill mark. And the food gets done so much faster because it's cast iron. But I love this. The, the one thing I love about this more than anything, Guy, listen, cast iron's been around for hundreds of years, right? Cast iron cookware. Yeah. And the reason is because they cook so well. They okay. cook fast. They cook thoroughly. And you get Look even heat here. from side to side because yeah. cast iron moves from side to side. Now, the other thing I like about cast iron, with these new, uh, these new cooktops, um, it works on conduction, it works on electric, it works on gas stoves, it works on any stove any top stove. you have. Even you the barbecue. Can, or on the barbecue <laughs> or on the grill or in your oven. They're yeah. oven safe as well. But the non-stick is the best part, yep. I think anyway. Uh, let me throw some cheese on these burgers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because go, we're going to do go. some cheese burgers gotcha, and, uh, while these steaks are going. And by the way, these steaks, you can do these steaks uh, medium, you can do them rare, you can do them however you like. I like my medium rare it's like kind yep. of the perfect i think in between yep oh here i gotta show you this too because here let me show you these steaks look at this look at that coming close perfect grill marks that is from restaurant. edge to edge that's end restaurant. to end yes. perfect grill marks i showed you this now if you want to do the cross hatch all you do is turn it across the bottom now to get that cross hatch if you like the, what yeah. is on this side. Yep. I, I don't mind having the grill marks just like this. You get that perfect char, you get that perfect sear, oh, yeah. and they're done in no time because of that beautiful heating with the cast iron. But watch this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta show you this watch because the cleanup, the cleanup Ready? is literally, I think, the best part. All you do is wipe it clean. They're, these are non-stick on the inside, wow. so everything wipes right out. I mean, look at that. Have you ever seen non-stick cast iron? Now and, you have. <laughs> and remember, the thing about cast iron, what makes it such a wonderful pan for cooking and why every chef has one, you know, when we used to do the blackening back yep. in the day, that's yep. what we did. You want a super hot pan for the sear, but the nice thing is if you take this pan off, let's say you're doing a dish where you're gonna leave it in the pan and bring it to the table, that pan stays hot for 30 to 40 minutes right. after you take it off because right. of the structural integrity of iron I won't get all fancy on you, but it, the, it doesn't release the temperature. It's the way the molecules are packed together. That's right. Like stainless steel. Even co copper's a great conductor of heat, right? Yes. But again, it doesn't hold the heat that long in the same way. It just conducts it so you get it. 
there's no, there's a reason our grandparents had cast iron. <laughs> yeah, it lasts right? forever. Forever. And, and these are really generational pans. I mean, you will pass these down from, uh, you know, th these, they last forever. The nice thing too, is you never have to worry about seasoning these. So when you get them home, they're all pre-seasoned. There's nothing to worry about as far as rust. They are dishwasher safe. Yeah. I tell everybody just wash them out by hand. See, now that looks, saw, that looks like a nightmare. You saw how easy that is to clean. Take a look at this guy. I'm going to lift here. Yeah, I'm going to show know it's you hot. one more time. By here. the way, always use a pan or a towel. Yep. yep. Because the whole thing gets hot, but guys. Watch this. I'm yeah. going to do just the top half of this because yeah, go I've got some Johnny. more things i got to show you here. But look at this. I mean, you want to talk about easy to clean. You just saw that cheesy burgers in there. That's look at that. perfectly clean. I mean, that's better than a dishwasher. <laughs> Ten times. All you do is wipe it out. Yeah, and then you're ready to cook again. Yes. Because it stays at temperature. It stays so hot. And by the way, I, I always say they're economical because once you get it up to temperature, you can turn these things down. You don't want to cook cast iron on high for very long because it holds that heat so well. So you can turn that heat down. I love it, John, especially for things like salmon, yeah. seafood, because you get that great sear, and you don't want to put a piece of salmon out on the barbecue grill, it's gonna fall apart yeah. on you. Yeah, right, right? exactly, so. most times they do. Yeah. What's great about this is you can do those smaller things. You can throw veggies in here and get a great sear on your veggies. If you want to do some, uh, add some mushrooms for your steak, you can do that after you've cooked the steak. Throw those mushrooms in, yeah. Throw the veggies in. You're going to get those beautiful grill marks. Here, let me throw an onion in here, yeah. too. And you got get... the juices from the steak in right. there. You right. got the, in this one, I've got the juices from a burger, which from I don't the mind either. Hey, that's but the same. You can, either way, you're going to get those grill marks, those beautiful grill marks, without having to fire up the grill. You can do this all indoors. You never have to worry about, uh, you know, open flame. You never have to worry about... To get that great grilling experience, now you can do it right on your stovetop. You're gonna love it. I now, my producer Rob just said I've got about 700 left. It'll sell out. Uh, it's a $20 bill, you're getting a $100 pan. In my opinion, I know we sell it for 50, it's because it's our brand. But if you try to find, you, you go online and there's a lot of very famous cast iron companies. John yep. knows them, I know them. Yep. You're gonna spend 100 bucks, 200 bucks on a cast iron pan. It'd be all fancy, but it's the same stuff. We put the baked finish on the outside. We put the nonstick yes. on the inside so you don't have to season it. It's not reactive with certain foods, with acidic foods. And you get those beautiful grill marks. So if you wanna do your toast or your cakes, uh, if you wanna grill, I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna put our, uh, put our beautiful uh, uh, pineapple rings Ooh, here. Look at that, John, uh, dessert. Mean, this is absolutely unbelievably delicious. You can do this at home. And look at, you're getting those grill marks. They come out there, they come out absolutely beautiful, but again, I think the best part about this Towel. is the fact <laughs> that you're never going to have to worry about the cleanup because all you do is yeah. wipe them out. You can see, I mean, this is steaming hot, but look how quick and easy yeah. that is. I wish Everything we, wipes right out. And I wish we had a knife out here. I'd love to cut that steak <laughs> oh, yeah. perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see, you know, uh, John and I, we've got the old uh, the old chef's fingers, so look it doesn't this. hurt us. But uh, yeah, look at this meal right here. With the We roasted some veggies, we did some steaks. Everything was done in the same pan. Skewers. All right. Hey, listen, that chicken. Yeah. I, I, I did those chicken kebabs. I want you to see this because what I love about this is because they're stovetop safe and oven safe, yeah. I can start my chicken on the stovetop yeah. and move it right to the oven so I can add whatever ingredients I want in sure. here if, if you'd like. And then just walk it right to the oven Take and the finish oven. it off because yeah. it is oven safe as well. 550 degrees, it's oven safe too. You can actually take this out. If you do have a barbecue grill, you can use it out there as well. They're virtually indestructible. You will probably have this pan the rest of your life. Yep. I bought two because I'm like, I wish I could have bought them all because I could probably, I could turn around and probably sell the things oh, for yeah, 10 I times know. what I bought them for. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna keep them because you can, it's, you can never have enough. And by the way, I will, t oh, what, what color, Rob? Red, red just sold out. I bought them in the blue. I actually, you know why I bought them in blue? You never see that color. No, you don't, and you know what? Ever. I, I, listen, <laughs> I love this too. Like, I've, I've got friends of mine. Yeah. They go crazy over this color because they have one piece. They have one piece in this color. It's their favorite color. It's oh the only gosh. pan they use. Yeah. And when you see this color, you have to. I mean, it's like, okay, it's gonna match this. It's yeah. gonna match the other, the other hey, uh, items Hey, and you know what, John? You can still grill even when it's nasty outside oh, if you sure. really want to. Sure. You know, we were talking about that, uh, the, our flat top grill, yep. uh, which is wonderful. You love that, but some days the weather's not good. You gotta be inside. You still wanna get some grilling done. You can do it. 
Um, Rob is saying we're gonna move on because we got so many people oh. online right now that wanna buy this thing. We got people buying two and three sets. Oh, I don't blame you. I'd do <laughs> At it. that price? Yeah. If you're smart, go ahead and do it. Uh, <laughs> say that again, Rob. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh. By the way, hey, John, yeah. can you grab the microwave steamers? Yes. So I aired this last week. There were so many more than we expected went out that we can't even do a presentation on it. John, these are for your microwave. These are silicone microwave steamers, perfect for veggies, perfect for fish. Uh, they, they close up perfectly just like this. They're all silicone, Yeah. okay? So they're easy to clean, dishwasher safe, wipe them out with a towel, and you're getting the two different sizes. So you can do your broccoli, you can do your cauliflower, yeah. you can do your beans, you can do anything that you want to steam in your microwave. Now you can do that with these. And by the way, you see this? Look, they're flexible. <laughs> hey, and by the way, you don't, did you, I didn't know you could put those in the oven up to 450 degrees. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oven safe. So if you want to just <laughs> put some broccoli in there with some wine and garlic and just let it stick in the oven, you can do that because a lot of people are like, I don't want to use the microwave. Go ahead and put it in the oven. You can do it. 20 bucks, you get two of them in different sizes. All right. So this part of the show, it's my last item, and I will call this another one of the John Florell shows. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I remember when the first version of this came out, probably about 15, 20 years ago, yep, right? Yep. It didn't even have a cup, you just did it right on the counter. Right. It's, in my opinion, one of the best ways, especially if you have no knife skills, to chop virtually anything. It's our own Literally. brand, it is $21.95. It's called the Quick Push Press and Chopper. Ladies and gentlemen, it comes in red, comes in blue, teal, and it comes in black. Let this, me let John Florel go. Here this he goes. guy, I gotta tell you, this is the most amazing, <laughs> versatile chopper. Love if it. you wanna chop one clove of garlic, you'll use this machine. Watch this, I'm gonna chop one clove of garlic, put it in, the top locks down, and all you do is press down on the top. There's your garlic chopped Are perfectly. Now, if you wanna do a whole bunch, you can load this up with as much garlic as you like and chop a whole, a, a whole bowl full of garlic if you like. Get it all done like. time, yeah. And look at this, but it's so quick and easy because every time that you press down on that lid, or on the, on the pusher on top, it spins those blades five times. So it's like having, there's three blades in there, so it's like having 15 knives working every time you push down on this. And, and you wanna talk the, about the perfect job. Ready? Watch, watch this, watch, watch, watch. how quick was that? Before you can even take out that food processor and plug <laughs> it into the wall, right? That electric machine, look, look at it. this. Perfectly minced garlic for soups, stews, for chili. Oh, and I always say, guy, if the only thing you're ever gonna use this for is chopping onions, it's worth it just for the chopped onion because everybody hates chopping onions with yeah. a knife, right? You because you them. cry. Yeah. Look at this, so you can load it up. There's an, onion, there's an onion and a half that I put inside the machine. Place the lid on, push down on the top, and look at this. For tuna fish or chicken salad, homemade meatloaf, tacos, or chili, that quick and easy, that safe and fast, you'll never have to watch. worry about your fingers. And watch this when I flop this out here in the front. It comes out of there absolutely no shit. perfect. Even our best chefs <laughs> could not mince onions right. that perfectly. Now that's minced, wow. but what I love about this too, Guy, is the more times you press, the finer it gets. So you right? control. So you are in complete control. So if you like your salsa, and I've got all the ingredients for my salsa here. here let me move this back here out of the way. Yeah. For your salsa, by the way, this comes off because it fits perfectly in your drawer Perfect. or in a cabinet, yeah. okay? The top comes off, you place that over the top, and it also locks down. So you turn it, it pops up, and now you're ready to chop. And look at this, if you like your salsa thick and chunky, you can stop wherever you like it. If you like it, if you wanna take it all the way down to a pico de gallo, yeah. you can do that as well. You just press more times. The more you press, the finer it comes out. But look at that, everything that we put in there, the onions, the garlic, the tomatoes, oh, the jalapeno, the, the cilantro, all of the ingredients put together. Perfect. And take the blades out, you can even use this as a little serving bowl too. All right, we did, uh, did do we have all colors still or, or no, Rob? We have it available in black and red. We just sold out of the, of the teal color. Uh, if, oh. if you want the black, I got about 450 left. So these are going really quickly as well. It also comes with a beater whip attachment. Yes. And let me tell you, you want to know the key to really good scrambled eggs? Whip those guys yeah, up. Yeah. Oh, Get yeah. some air in there. And Watch this. This little beater attachment, this is silicone, okay? So the, the, the paddles on here are, are silicone. They're flexible, which 
here's something I found out about it, but look at this. For your uh, cake top, or for cakes, for yeah. the, you know, if you if you want to mix up a cake batter, sure. maybe it's pancake batter, yeah. maybe it's scrambled eggs in the morning. Salad the, dressings. The salad dressings, all you do is press down. And look at this, I mean, perfect whipped eggs, yeah, look at the done air. in seconds. Yes. You can make whipped cream in this if you like, a little oh, heavy yeah. whipping cream. Yep. Oh, let me put this back here, because I got to show you this. I'm going to pull this one out. I have the same blade inside with no eggs, but I got to show you because when you look at this, I found this out, I tried it at home. Yeah. Watch this, you take your garlic. Instead of sitting there with a paring knife trying to peel your garlic, yeah. drop those cloves inside, put and the lid on. And now you have to paddle it. <laughs> Look, it literally will peel your garlic cloves inside the machine. I, listen, if you use a lot of garlic in your cooking like I do, it's done that quick, that fast, and I wanna show you, so I'm gonna pull some of these out of here. Look at this. Perfectly peeled garlic. Look at No peels left. Look at that. <laughs> Everything's, all the peels stay on the well, inside of the machine. you can see all the peel dust. And <laughs> there it is. <laughs> right. And look at that. I mean, how quick and easy, if, if that's all you use it for. I yeah. think it's And by it. the way, this makes the most amazing salad. So if you love chicken salad, egg salad, ham salad, oh. turkey salad. Speaking of uh, John which. will show you that too. You can make your own mayonnaise in here. You put some egg yolks in here, right? You put, you put a little oil in there, a little dry mustard, a little vinegar. Right. You can do all kinds of things. Any kind of salad dressing. I like to make green goddess, you know, that green green onion dressing, you can make that as well. But when you see the key to this thing is the three different blades. So you yes. don't have to go in there and agitate it. Right. It right? does the work for you. I, I've got some leftover chicken in here, some grilled chicken that was left over. We'll put, put, put that inside, place the top on top, lock it down, and press. And look at this. Eggs for egg salad, ham for ham salad. You can do chicken for chicken salad, or maybe it's leftover turkey. All you do is press down on the top of the machine. It does the work for you. Those stainless steel blades spin around the inside. Now you can take whatever you like, mayonnaise, any ingredients you want, Man. mix it up inside the bowl. But I'm going to flop this out here so you guys can see this consistency. Watch. Take a look at this. I mean, <laughs> how fine that you was like, grilled chicken. That's almost packed. Thirty seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, will you do one for me? Because yeah. I love the herbs. Like this. Yes. That is to me because they're, as we know at home, right? What's the hardest things to cut are like basil, sure. cilantro, parsley. You're sitting there with it, trying to chop it, yep. chop it, chop it. I've never seen anything cut with the consistency that this does when you do herbs. It's oh yeah, amazing. you can parsley, uh, 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 oregano. I mean, yeah. any any type of herbs that you like. Yeah, place basil. it inside the machine. Yep. All you do is put the top on and press. And those three stainless steel blades inside here, you can actually see how it happens because it's got that clear bowl. It comes out absolutely unbelievable and it's done literally in seconds. And look at this, perfect minced parsley. <laughs> All right. Ready for Come your soups close. or stews. Have you ever seen parsley that perfectly chopped. Right. Never. <laughs> and you know, with herbs, chopping is the most important part because that's what releases all the flavor in the herbs. So you yep. get more flavor out of your food. So if you're doing chives, or you're doing this? parsley. Fresh bread. I'm gonna put a couple of, oh. couple of. Hey, grill pan's gone. Good oh. job, Johnny. Hey, congratulations. congratulations. I'm glad I bought two last week because those sold out. I want to get one of these today because you know what my favorite thing, one of my favorite things on earth is? Egg salad. Oh, yeah. I well, love egg salad, but I don't like it chunky. I'm making breadcrumbs right now. I took was two, that two slices bread? of fresh bread, put it in the machine. And by the way, they're eat, we had the same machine I used the parsley in. Yeah. But you can do that at home, too. Add whatever uh, herbs you want to make your own breadcrumbs. You, make your own in. Italian breadcrumbs. Look at this guy. It's so quick and easy. For it's safe and fast. Meatballs, yeah, whatever it absolutely. is. absolutely. Here, you wanted eggs yeah, for egg the salad? Yeah, because I'm going to buy one of these when I get off air today. And I, because egg, <laughs> you know what I bought? I bought one of those things that just cuts the eggs in little cubes but then you gotta continue yeah. to mash yeah. it. All you do is, play, I, got, I got like a half a dozen eggs in here. All you do is press the button, the look pressure, it. and look at this, you got egg salad sold. in seconds. I and sold. like I said, just like with the chicken salad, pop the top off, pull the blades out, throw a little mayonnaise in there. You can even chop up your pickle or jalapeno or whatever else show you wanna add to your eggs. Dump it out, you gotta show the <laughs> oh, consistency, watch yeah, yeah. this. I'll right down here on the end. Watch the consistency. <laughs> it comes out of there look absolutely at, perfect. Guys, look at the eggs. <laughs> right? There's, there's they're all the same size. And, oh, I gotta show you this too, because wow. listen, we do a lot of baking as well. I'm gonna take almonds, walnuts, cashews, some peanuts, if you like peanuts, float them in the machine and place the lid on top. I know I'm going kind of fast here, but uh, <laughs> we got hey, a lot to I show in a little time. But look at this, for your home, for chopped nuts, for Sundays, cakes, pie toppings, all you do is press, and you've got nuts perfectly chopped, 
And <laughs> it's literally done. Here, watch this. I'm going to pour this right out here so you guys can see this. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Again, cashews, almonds, walnuts, pecans, hey. anything you want to chop. You put it in here. We're chopping and shopping today, Yeah, guys. we are. And you know what's <laughs> nice, too? You don't have to touch any of this stuff. So right? if you don't like to touch garlic or onions or anything like that, you never have to worry about it. We're just about out of time. Hundreds of you in the ordering process. And as John said, if you just get it for onions. Yep. It's worth it for the onions alone. It is worth it for that. Item number is 794-771. It's on sale today. It's $21.95. This is our brand. Steal it away. Never have to use a knife again. Just to prep and put stuff in there. You're going to love it. All right, Johnny Gray. Great job, man. Love, love watching this. I mean, look at all the stuff we just did. <laughs> that would take any of our salsa. chefs. It would take our chefs hours to chop this up. <laughs> all right, hey, coming up next, I know Michelle Yarn is taking you on the way, and she's got Nina Leonard Fashions. I'm off. I'll see you Friday for Guys in the Garden. Have a great day, everybody. See ya. Welcome in, everybody. Happy Wednesday to you. My name is Michelle Yarn. I can't help but move in this